In this video, we'll take a look at the Format Paragraph dialog box. I'm going to click in this first body text paragraph of the document so that whatever action I take will affect this paragraph and choose Format Paragraph. We're going to begin by looking at the Indents and Spacing tab of the Format Paragraph dialog box. The indent is the spacing between the margins and the beginning of the text. This is a sort of preview box of how things are going to go. So if I say I want a 0.25 or a quarter inch indent here, one decimal point will do it. And I want the first line indented half an inch or 0.5. Let's click OK. And we can see that we've moved in a quarter inch from the margin here and a half inch from the margin here. Back to the paragraph dialog box. And we'll see the preview is affecting that. If you check automatic for first line, the amount of the first line indent will be selected based on the font and size of the text of that paragraph. Spacing above and below the paragraph is the amount of white space above and below paragraphs. It's a better technique to use this than to press the enter key to create an entire line. The reason is because this is readily changeable. You don't have to ever go through a document um, deleting and inserting characters. So let's say that we don't want any space above this paragraph, but that we want a third of an inch, 0.3, below it. Let's keep getting these double decimals. And again, I'm going to click OK. And we'll see now that we have this white space after the paragraph. But if I turn on the non-printing keys, only one enter key. It's, creating, it's within the formatting of that paragraph. Back to the format paragraph. And finally, on the indents and spacing, line spacing. Single, of course, is the kind of text with nor this sort of normal spacing. One and a half is quite popular, makes for a very readable document. Double is quite big, but it's wonderful for documents that need to be editing. Proportional, at least letting and fixed, I'm not going to worry about right now. Those are more for WordPress, for page layout tasks, and we're really going to stick with single one and a half and double. For now, I'm going to choose one and a half. Before I click OK, I just want to explain this activate checkbox. This has to do with um, printing on both sides of the page when you want to, to make sure that the lines of text on both sides of the page line up vertically on the page so that you don't hold up a piece of paper and see the text on the other side through the white space. So again, not something we'll need to worry about. So let's look at the effect of the one and a half line spacing. And you see that really is an attractive space, an attractive space, spacing option. Okay, coming back to the format paragraph dialog box. Let's look at the Alignment tab. The Alignment tab is pretty, pretty ordinary. Left, right, center, and justified. The difference being that we have some options on the justified option that we did not have on the format bar. So when you have justified text, you can choose to have the last line of the paragraph left aligned, centered, or justified. If you choose justified and check expand single word, then that last line will be will fill the page. So not a very good example in this paragraph, but it can re lead to some odd results. I would stay away from that and typically you're going to choose left a line for the last line of a justified paragraph. Again, we're not going to worry about this text to text. Text flow, outline and numbering tabs, we're going to do on a set and another time. Drop caps. A drop cap is that big initial display cap that 
you can, that you can use. You can choose whole word and then you'll get the entire first word. Or you can control the number of letters that you want to have. Let's go to whole word and you'll notice this dims. And you can choose the size of it by saying I want it four lines deep, three lines deep, two lines deep. And you can control the amount of spacing between the end of the drop cap and the space. I just tend to leave it the way it is. Um, this just tells you what you've chosen. It's pretty apparent from up there. And this is styles and they're not very useful. Um, if you had a particular character style that you had built, then you could use that, but for now, leave it at none. And there we have the drop cat. More typically, we would do, clicking down here in this paragraph, one letter. That's the more typical way that um, drop caps are done. Finally, we have borders. This is where you can put a box around your paragraph and you can do quite a lot. You can use, you can choose the lines independently. Let's say this one in red. And then on this side, we'll change it. We'll choose this one. No, that's the same one. We'll choose this one in magenta, keep it colorful. And then we'll put the same thing there, and then I will put one there just to show you. So see, here we have the paragraph, we have the double line at the top in red, and the magentas on the edge, in, and nothing on the bottom. Clicking in a new paragraph down here, inside the laser printer, that paragraph, or that paragraph, more likely you're going to choose all four borders. Choose a fairly subtle but you may very want to colour it. So that highlights the entire paragraph. Coming back to format paragraph, the final tab, oh, the spacing to contents, just leave those standard, that's going to give you the nicest. Um, you can shadow it. That could be an effective formatting technique. And finally, on the background, we could put a nice pale green background behind the text for a nice, colourfully formatted paragraph. Okay, so that's the format paragraph dialog box.